So if you're like me and you're watching YouTube videos of Unreal Engine 5, you probably at some point felt motivated enough to download the engine and create a cool environment or 3D world. So naturally, you create a new project, and once it's all loaded in, you have this completely blank level. Maybe you drag in a couple assets that you've downloaded from Quixel Bridge or the Marketplace, you move them around, scale them up, etc. But then you draw a complete blank. You don't know how to create that 3D environment or world that you initially envisioned. And this is exactly where Kitbash 3D comes in. So Kitbash 3D is a website that has a bunch of 3D kits. Each kit is comprised of an assortment of different 3D models. So you have things ranging from houses, buildings, props, quite literally anything and everything that you might need to build your 3D world. And the neat thing is each kit follows a different theme. So if you wanted to, you could create your own cyberpunk environment, apocalypse 3D world, ancient Egypt, or western environment. Uh, there are just a bunch of different themes. Now before we get any further, I want to make this clear, this is not a sponsored video. I know it might sound like one, but in all honesty, I'm just trying to improve the audience retention on this video by hopefully keeping you guys interested in watching the video. But if someone from Kitbash 3D is watching this and wants to sponsor me, feel free to reach out. Now, all these kits do cost money. However, once in a while, they release a free kit that you can download. And so recently, they just released this sci-fi world kit called Mission Minerva. Not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but it's a free high-quality kit that you can download and use inside of Unreal Engine 5. And in fact, I have it downloaded here in Unreal Engine 5. And I'm going to show you guys all of the free assets that you're getting, as well as how you can download this free kit and add it to your Unreal Engine 5 project. Now, I'm going to show off all the assets here first uh, because I know a large majority of you guys are probably more interested in what 3D models you're getting out of this sci-fi world kit. So if you want to learn how to download and install it, all of those instructions will be at the end of this video. But anyways, here are all the 3D assets that you're getting in this kit. Now right off the bat, there's just a bunch of different 3D models that you're getting and each of these buildings that you see here are prefabbed assets and what I mean by that is if you select one of them and you click right click and click edit you can see that each building prefab is an assortment of these different modular pieces. So each one of these building prefabs is comprised of those 3D meshes. And if you want to see all the 3D meshes, you can go to the geometries folder here and you can see here all the raw 3D models that you get that come included inside of the kit. Now let's actually start off by checking out the different models. So over here we have sort of this space living modules. You can see we have this main building with these glass cylinders here attached and if you go inside of them you can see that they are these little farms that are growing plants and we can go inside of here and you can see that we have sort of these robotic arms that are managing all of the crops there and then you have these very nice looking glass corridors that you can piece together and attach the various different modules and buildings together. Now, as you check out the kit, some of these buildings will have interiors and some of them won't. Okay, and so over here we have another little module here so we can see what the inside looks like. And of course, you can decorate it to add your own lights and props. You have a various assortment of different stairs and boardwalks. So you can take these, piece them together to make a boardwalk pathway between the different buildings. We have a building on a little platform here and it has some solar panels, just a bunch of different prefab buildings that you can slap together. Uh, over here we have this space vehicle. So you can see the tire design is actually really unique and pretty cool how they designed that. You can see it has sort of this container compartment. Okay, over here we have some more boardwalks and, and little glass uh, bridges. And if you download this in the third person template you can run around inside of these little corridors of course you'll have to fix the collisions because the collisions aren't set up properly uh, but if you watch till the end of this video I show you how to set all that up all of the models and things in the environment are already to scale so you don't have to mess around with any of the scaling now a neat little thing over here is we get this spaceship so it has this nice little hangar door doesn't really have any sort of interior obviously 
other than the back compartment but a pretty high detailed model nonetheless. Okay, over here we have some more different assets. We have another one of these little modules. Then over here we have various different props, things like cargo shipments of different containers and stuff like that. Okay, over here we have some road modular pieces. So this is a combination of different meshes, but like I said, you have each of these pieces separated. So you could take the straight piece here, the curved piece, or the ramp, all these different pieces and create a highway system and this is all very detailed too you can zoom in real close and see the detail on all the textures okay over here we have some industrial buildings this kind of looks sort of like a power plant or energy facility so you can see all the buildings are very unique and detailed and again all these prefab buildings are just mainly just combinations of the various modular pieces so here we have sort of like this landing platform. Moving on, we have some more different buildings here. So we have this very large building that has a lot of nice details, including this elevator here. So down here we have sort of the base level of this structure. And then you could take this elevator all the way up. And then another elevator continues all the way up to the very top of this little dome. So. You guys can use your imagination and figure out what kind of building this is. Okay, over here we have what kind of looks like the solar panel antennas. Uh, they kind of look like satellite dishes, but as you can see here, this is an entire single piece. So you can see all of the different ramps and buildings that are connecting these together. Okay, over here we have these two big landing platforms. So you can put a couple of spaceships on here. Now the super big building that looks sort of like a UFO has a nice little interior. So we can go inside and you can see that we're in this glass dome. This kind of looks like a habitation area. So you can see we have these tables and chairs for lounging. And then down here we have some grass. And you can see we have this map of the galaxy right here, really nice. And I think these are supposed to be fountains, water fountains. But yeah, as you can see, really nice, cool interior inside of this dome. Over here we have sort of these two landing pads with these cranes, air traffic control tower. So in the interior here, you could put probably some different props and maybe some screens. And then finally, we have sort of this hangar area or garage, except it doesn't really have an interior. Or maybe it does, you just have to remove these door meshes. Those are pretty much all of the different 3D meshes that you're getting when you download this kit. Now to actually download and install it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you want to go ahead and head over to kitbash3d.com and click on the Mission to Minerva kit. And then you're going to choose your software. So all you have to do is select Unreal. And for the render engine, you select native, and then you just click add to cart, you just click checkout, and you're gonna have to create an account, it's free. Uh, but once you go ahead and sign up, you'll go ahead and it will take you to a download page. And once you've downloaded the kit, you'll get it in the form of this zip file. So just right click it and extract all. And once you extracted it, uh, this is the Unreal project. Now this project is in Unreal Engine 4.26. So if you want to get the assets for Unreal Engine 5, all you gotta do is go inside of the content folder here and copy this mission to Minerva folder and then go into your Unreal Engine projects. So this is going to usually be in your PC, Documents, Unreal projects. Uh, this might be different depending on where you installed your Unreal Engine project too, but you'll head into your into your specific project. Let's say it's this island map. Go into the content and just right click and paste that mission to Minerva, which has all of the actors, 3D models, textures, all that stuff. And then you just go ahead and open up the project. Now it will take quite a decent amount of time to compile shaders because these are very high quality assets. And another thing is if you are wanting to mess around with the collisions, like I said, if you want to run around in some of these different buildings, a really easy way you can fix all the collisions is if you go into the geometries folder and just select all of the 3D models 
right click and go to asset actions bulk edit via property matrix basically all we're going to do is set the collision so if you search up here for collision under the collision complexity you can set this to use complex collision as simple uh, now what this will do is it will use the complex collision as the simple collision which isn't really the best performance option but uh, it will work you know obviously it'd be much better if you went in and it generated your own collision meshes uh, for each of these objects but if you want to save some time you can just enable that setting so you can run around on some of these objects anyways that's pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed this sort of content leave a thumbs up let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below and as always i'll see you guys in the next video